Good afternoon, YouTube. My name is Mr. Clippet, aka Sinclair. Today, I'm going to bring you a tutorial that's been searched for a lot and no one's had the answer to until today. I'm going to be doing a tutorial on a bot that you can set up follower alerts, loyalty points, and much more for, you guessed it, kick.com. I know there's a lot of mixed reviews on kick.com, but I'm not getting into that today. Today I'm just giving those who actually choose to stream on kick.com a tutorial that they need. So let's get into it. All right, now that I have your attention, let me introduce you to LiveBot. This is a great tool to use for your kick it, kick it, <laughs> kick.com stream. Sorry, it's been a long day. Um, with this tool, as you can see on your screen, you're gonna be able to set up commands, moderate your stream, do giveaways, see your statistics, and most importantly, set up alerts. So go ahead and get your account created and then we'll start from there. All right, without further ado, let me introduce you to LiveBot. This is where you're going to set up your follower alerts. You will go ahead and click on overlay, which you can't see unless I scroll up farther. And then you click on follower alert. This will pick up your tools that you can use to create your alerts. You have all the different things that you can do with the sounds, the animations, an image, or if you want to choose a GIF. And basically, once you've added that and go through the steps and create it how you want it to look, you then copy the URL and add that to your OBS as a source. So anytime you trigger the alert, it'll appear on the screen just like this. And if you have a sound attached to it, it'll trigger that sound as long as you have the sound enabled on your desktop. So make sure that you have desktop audio entered in, otherwise you will not hear it. So that's a pretty important part. Um, also a cool feature of this is if you click on modules, if you can see right here, there's text, text to speech. So you can also add a browser source for that so you can hear your chat instead of having to look at your chat if you're playing games. Great feature to have already off the bat. Now you do have other things that you can do like giveaways and loyalty points. Those are a little less complicated to use, but they're not as advanced as what you're used to on Twitch, which would be like the channel points. So keep in mind, it's kind of similar to like the bot points that you would get on any other bot. Also with this as well, you can create alerts to pop up in your chat anytime someone follows so that you don't miss a follow. So you'll go through the steps to create it by going through each of these three steps. Very simple to follow. If you want to create web hooks, you can do that as well. These are just the tools that you have to use right off the bat. There's not a whole lot to it, but for now, it's a great start until they get more and more of the different things added. As you get subs and things like that unlocked for kick.com, they'll add more features, I'm sure. But for now, you can add in the most important things, which is co the commands. You have your filtered and banned words. You can have announcements. You can also see your statistics of your streams. So all in all, this is a great tool. If you found this tutorial super helpful, make sure you guys like and subscribe. If you guys have any questions or need any tips on, on this software, um, just make sure you comment down below. Um, again, my name is Mr. Clippit. Um, I stream on TikTok and now, I'm going to stream on kick.com. I have 44,000 fans on TikTok, 2,000 subs on YouTube, as you can tell here on the video, if you look below. If you guys have any other suggestions on any new videos I should make, make sure you guys don't hesitate to go ahead and comment below as well. Thanks again for tuning into the tutorial and see you on kick.com.